Speaking of Sam, he put out about abundant intelligence, a redefining of artificial intelligence, AI, but the new acronym here, AI being abundant rather than artificial. So I'm going to go through it in detail because I think it's worth while looking at what the leader of AI is talking about and aiming at. It's to do with getting more money put into the sector and spending your way to the next level of artificial intelligence, which has potential difficulties. Growth in the use of AI services has been astonishing. We expect it to be even more astonishing. As AI gets smarter, access to AI will be a fundamental driver of the economy and maybe something we consider a fundamental human right. Almost everyone will want more AI working on their behalf to deliver what the world needs, for inference compute to run these models, and for training compute to keep making them better. We're putting the groundwork in place to be able to significantly expand our AI infrastructure. The world needs this. This is a fundamental human right. OpenAI and myself, Sam Altman, I'm going to step up and help people to achieve this basic human right. If AI stays on the trajectory that we think it will, then amazing things will be possible. Maybe with 10 gigawatts of compute, AI can figure out how to cure cancer. Or with 10 gigawatts of compute, AI can figure out how to provide customized tutoring to every student. If limited by compute, we'll have to prioritize. No one wants to make that choice, so let's go build. So he's saying we will be able to solve these problems, and it becomes a decision of which problems do we throw our computing power at first and foremost. And that is, I agree, a very difficult decision to make. So he's saying we need more computing power. That doesn't necessarily make these problems go away. It's just we'll have other problems that we need to choose between.